understand you went up to EA Vancouver to consult on the brand new face-off system in the game. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, the, the EA game has gotten so so good over the years. You know, the face-offs, it's, it's an important part of the game that people are starting to realize, you know, and, and there's so many ways to take them and, and lose them. But, um, you know, it's fun. It's, it's, fun to, it's fun to see it evolve in the game. Jared, so I understand there's several different techniques on the face-off dot in the game. What are they? Well, in the game, the, you know, the way it's evolving now, it's uh, you can shoot off the face-off, you can deke off the face-off, which a lot of guys are doing, you know, pushing it through the skate, going in on, on the goalie right away or getting a shot, um, tying a guy up and kicking it with your skate, which is a very popular one. That's in the game now. And also uh, your wingers helping out, which is a huge part of, uh, of winning a face-off. All right, so I see a lot of broken sticks when I'm watching hockey. Is it intentional sometimes, or is it always accidental, or what? Uh, you know what? The sticks nowadays are so light that they uh, you know, they break a lot, and either on face-offs or taking a shot, uh, getting a slash. A lot of times, uh, getting a you know a two-hand slash on your stick is is going to break it. And uh, you know, there's sticks lying on the ice sometimes, and you got to stick out through them. And um, some guys are sprinting to the bench, and, and guys are over the bench, uh, you know, handing a stick. It's great that it's in the game because it happens a lot, and there's a lot of broken sticks. I can't wait to check out NHL 11 next week at E3.